Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to run non GUI execution in JMeter and running the load test with all remote machines. All remote machines. So, first, you know, open a, a command prompt and go to the JMeter.bin JMeter, uh, bin folder. First, start your JMeter server client, JMeter client to accept your test from your master. I'm opening the JMeter server, JMeter server. If it is in a Windows machine, it has to be back. If it is a Linux machine, it has to be SH. So the JMeter slave is starting now. The JMeter slate has, uh, slave has started. Now go to open another command prompt. Open another command prompt. Uh, JMeter. So in the bin folder, you will have a JMeter uh, another battery uh, which we can run. The commit uh, the command the command for a JMeter non GUI remote all is non GUI iPhone R iPhone T iPhone L. Okay, so iPhone T you need to pass your path of the script and you need double code. Uh, I'm using double code. Just uh, have a script name here, complete script path, including your extension. Copy. Yeah, and I'm giving the uh, double code. We need to pass log as well, JMeter log. This is a JMeter log where JTL, you will have a JTL file with this folder. It is file, file name, J, JTL, JTL, okay, and close in double code. Iphone R is a meaning that specifies JMeter to start uh, all uh, execution from the remote machine, that's slave machines, okay? Yeah, so let's go to the script folder first. Let's go to the my script path. So we don't have a JTL file here. We don't have JTL file here, which we see in here. So let's start the JMeter test. Let's start the gem test here. Gem test is starting. So you, you could see the uh, log scrolling on your uh, slay machine. Slay machine, the slay machine, the test is starting now. The test is starting from the gem slave and uh, um, we are executed the test in the uh, gem master and you're waiting the summary here for every five ten minutes. We'll get a test here. Uh, if it's if it's a ten hour, if it's, if it's one hour, fifteen minutes, ten minutes. For every uh, two seconds or three seconds, JMeter will uh, JMeter will uh, give the uh, command entry here. We will be just for monitoring whether we have any uh, error percentage in our test or not. Just to monitor during our test. So with this uh, with this value, we can see that is there any errors coming out in our uh, execution jmeter will uh, scroll the log jmeter will print the log for every particular time like we can see that information do we have any errors in our load test because by using that information we can uh, uh, stop law stop or close our test uh, to see what errors are coming through in our test now we should come to the script folder you will have a jtl file you should have a jtl file uh, jtl yeah you got a jtl file we got the JTL file, which will we can use for uh, uh, analyzing our reports. Okay, yeah, this is how we need to do JMeter master slave. Uh, sorry, we here this is how we need to uh, do uh, JMeter execution for master and slave in non-GA mode. Thanks for listening, friends.